Joe Greg here. Now I'm making this video in response to your Two Destinies video. And first of all I want to say uh, it's really cool that you flat out admitted that you had struggles with uh, pornography and such. It's a very awesome step to make. And I'm going to get to that part later. But I want to tell you a little bit about my story. When I was 17 years old I gave my life to Christ, as you know. But I also brought along a huge baggage of uh, pornography addiction that I've had since I was in junior high. Now, this was the one thing that I didn't give fully to Christ. Now, granted, I when I was uh, saved, I slowed way the heck down. I stopped logging on to the computer to look at images and video as much as I used to prior to the conversion. But... This was something I didn't really give fully to God. It was something that I really didn't admit to other people. In fact, I kept quiet about it for a while. And that was a mistake because I needed to bring this out to be dealt with. And I didn't. I had a hard time because I was so, so ashamed about it. And in my mentality, I thought people would just condemn me and, and just not even bother to talk to me thinking I was a pervert because I was I was addicted to pornography or formally addicted to pornography. I just didn't think I'd be accepted anymore and I'd be shunned. Well, you know what? I come to realize that those people who shun you are the ones that need help too. Uh, in being a Christian, people have struggles. We're human. We're just gonna we're gonna go through so many different things in life and the last thing we need to be doing is condemning somebody for their struggles, especially if they want to change. And I, I just didn't know how to go about it. Now, the one difference between you and me as far as what you did on your video was, if I was in your place back then, I never would have made a video like that. Now, YouTube didn't exist back when I was 17 years old. We had dial-up, and uh, that wouldn't have really worked out. <laughs> but... Regardless, I never would have flat out admitted like that. What you did is a huge, huge step in the right direction. The, flat, the fact that you actually went out and talked about it. Now, in light of that, God is going to use that to be able to help deal with the issue at hand. Now, I come to find out that pornography was just a symptom of a huge emotional issue that I never dealt with. And... When I finally came to God and said, listen, I need to I need to change this because it's eventually going to destroy my ministry. It's going to destroy my marriage. It's going to get worse if I don't put it into check again. I'm going to go right back to where it used to be before I got converted. And God heard me and, and actually started revealing to me why I was addicted to pornography. Now, this is something very personal, and I'm more than willing to talk to you about it sometime in maybe like email or something. This is not something I really feel led to uh, talk about on YouTube, at least as of now. But um, it was just a symptom. And if you actually ask God to reveal to you why you may be addicted to it, um, you may be surprised. Because it, could, it might not be just a physical thing because you're a guy and you get into visual things uh, sexually, like most guys do. It may be something more than that. And I'd really seriously look into that and see what you can come up with. Because... It was, it was the best thing I ever did. And now I don't even have a desire anymore. I don't have any any desire at all. Now, has Satan tried using it against me? Yes, he definitely has tried using it against me. But I don't feel that pull anymore. And I give God all the glory because that's all him. Considering my past, that's all him. Joe, I hope this video helped. Uh, this really hit close to home with me because of my struggles. And I'm letting you know that you're not alone. And... You know, if you ever want to talk about it further, I'm here. You feel free to email me. And anybody else that is watching this video that actually struggled with pornography, uh, email me and I will be willing to uh, share with you whatever resources, whatever knowledge that I've had in dealing with it. And, you know, maybe we can uh, pray about it and help. maybe I can help you work it through. This is something I dealt with myself. Joe, keep pushing forward in the ministry like I've been saying before. And uh, God will work in your heart. It's awesome. I'm glad you're doing what you're doing. And uh, that step that you made by fully admitting it, even here on YouTube, God is really going to honor that. That's that's That took a lot of strength. And that was just 
that is totally cool. And uh, I just pray that you don't have to go through what I went through in my shame and not admitting it and not fully dealing with it. That's a huge, huge step in the right direction. And I'm going to continue encouraging you to just go out forward and press forward in the ministry. All right, man. You take care of yourself, and God bless.